Hey there, welcome to week 18 new grammar. Um, I'm gonna actually do geography first because I'm really scared I'm gonna forget the tune. It's a little bit complicated. Um, so I have the map right here. And we're gonna point to the rivers as we sing this song. And it goes, Colorado River, Red River, Rio Grande River, Columbia River, Great Salt Lake. Okay, so one more time. Colorado River, Red River, Rio Grande River, Columbia River, Great Salt Lake. Okay, and so um, math is the area of a triangle, and the area of, the tri of a triangle equals one half base times height. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our arms and we're going to make base like this. So it's going to be one half base times height. All right, one more time. One half base times height. And then for John 1-5, we're going to continue doing the same song that we're doing, um, the King Thing song that we're doing in community. Um, the only hand motion I have for this one that I had made up a while back when we were doing vocabulary is Luke's for light. Um, I'm trying to remember how the tune goes to this part. And Luke's in tenor, brisk Luquette. I think that's how it goes, but I'm not completely sure. So just listen to the song. Um, and we're gonna go over that in class. Um, okay, so for science, um, what are the third four elements in the periodic table? My number, element, symbol, and mass. And we're continuing to do the same song, but I have new hand motions. So for nine, we're gonna go like this, nine, fluorine. And when we say floor, we're gonna hit the floor. We're gonna go and hit the floor. Um, and that's F19. And then for, 10, we're gonna go neon, and we're gonna grab our knee, and E20. And then for 11, 11 so, sodium, and we're gonna pretend like we're sewing, NA23. And then for 12, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna do a one and a two like this. So it's gonna be 12 magnesium, and it's like magnets, magnesium, MG24. So the tune goes, what are the third four elements in the periodic table by number, element, symbol, and mass? So we're going to say nine fluorine, F19, 10 neon, NE20, 11 sodium, NA23, and... 12 magnesium mg24 okay for sentence parts um we're gonna use the same tune that we used for um last week uh, which is the subject is that part of a sentence about which something is being said but we're gonna use it for the predicate and we're gonna do examples for predicate. So we're gonna be saying, the predicate is that part of a sentence that says something about the subject. And I'll be giving examples in class of what a predicate is and they're gonna to have to tell me which, or I'm gonna give examples of sentences and they're gonna to have to practice telling me which part of the sentence is the predicate. And every time we do one, then we're gonna sing the tune twice after. So the predicate is that part of a sentence that says something about the subject and we'll say that twice and then I'll give them another example and so on. All right, so for timeline for Cherokee Trail of Tears, we're gonna go like this. Cherokee Trail of Tears, U.S. Westward Expansion. Marx publishes the Communist Manifesto. And this is like the Communist Fist. Um, the Compromise of 1850 and the Dred Scott Decision. U.S. restores trade with Japan. We're going to bow for Japan. British Queen Victoria's rule over India. And this is the American Sign Language for India. And then um, 
Darwin publishes the origin of species and we're going to pretend like we're writing. So Darwin publishes and then for origin of species, we're going to go like this because he studied um, birds in the Galapagos Islands, I think. So we're going to say Darwin publishes the origin of species. Okay, history. Let me get the tune up. Oh, I'll just tell you the hand motions first. So on December 7th, 1941, the Japanese, and for Japanese, we're going to bow again. So the Japanese bombed, and it's like we're dropping something, bombed Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, um, causing the United States to join the Allies in World War II. So let me get the volume up on here. About Pearl Harbor. On December 7th, 1941, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, causing the United States to join the Allies in World War II. geography already and I think that's it so we're gonna do Roy Lichtenstein Lichtenstein and um art and we're gonna do a hard water science experiment see you guys on Monday